Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Well, certainly a story here at the Target Center is the ongoing $100 million renovation to the building. Split 50-50 between the team and the city of Minneapolis. And uh, that's great news for Timberwolves fans. On the court for Atlanta, Korver at the three with Paul Millsap at the four. Captain clutches out there with Teague, and it's Horford in at the center, locking down the middle. Six on the shot clock. Here's Teague, and he can extend the lead to double digits. And you look at the long list of improvement for the target center. New lobbies, new box office, renovated locker rooms, new clubs and gathering areas. Seems like they're getting great bang for their buck. Here's Pekovic. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. Boy, he's looked great so far. Offensively, it's like he's brought his A game. And guys, it can be tough to see teams pressuring cities for new arenas. Nice that the Timberwolves can stay put and still get those improvements. Absolutely, Kevin. You know this building is good bones, a great location, so it's a pleasure to see the transformation they're making here. And we're already starting to see some of the results of that. Here's Captain Clutch, covered by Mark. Good. Hendricks. Look at the last game for the Atlanta Hawks. It was a win against the Grizzlies in Memphis. They looked very stable, pretty much from the get-go, guys. A solid output, solid effort. And, uh, you know, sometimes you'll see some inconsistencies come up in a road game, but they were pretty solid there. I was very impressed with the balance they displayed, guys. Different people carrying the load, scoring, making assists, unselfish play. Everything was working for them to get that victory. Very positive opening quarter for them. The shots have been falling. You know, the shooting percentage would be nice if it stayed right there, but that's going to be tough to do. Here's Pekovic, and there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. He's having quite the quarter here, guys. I mean, shooting the ball extremely well. Here's Teague. Spinning off the block is Pekovic. A nice shot by Teague. They've had the hotter hand in the first half so far, no question. Yeah, it's because of all the high percentage shots they've been working for and getting. Well, Nikola Pekovic, a battering ram style of play, but really soft hands for a big guy. I think that, make, that combination makes him one of the most effective inside scores in the league. And Atlanta has possession. Six-point game. T gets a screen from Hendricks. Here's Horford, and that comes off the assist by Jeff T. Jeff T's got three assists now in this one. Some defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. Yeah, giving up these easy chances is going to do wonders for their confidence. Williams dishes to Martin. That doesn't go either for Martin. Things have kind of gone south for him here in the quarter. Teague kicks to Millsap. Horford the pass to Millsap. Here's Captain Clutch. Outside Teague. Pass to Hendricks. Good if it goes. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter. Pretty shot without a second to spare. That can be so demoralizing for the team that gives up a shot like that to close out a quarter. Well, not exactly a close game so far, but as the second quarter starts here, plenty of time for a comeback. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Atlanta. you got to like the consistency they're showing with that mid-range shot. Something else they've been able to do so far tonight is earn those... He's checked in for Atlanta. Captain Clutch comes in for Damari Carroll. The Hawks trailing. And so in the game for the Hawks. Hendricks in at shooting guard. Horford is out there with Scott. Then it's Tabo Safalosha. And it's Schroeder in at the point. Horford in the post. 
His last outing, he had eight points, and he hits it to tie the game up. Horford's got six. Hawks coach Mike Budenholzer grew up around the game. His father coached high school and college basketball for 25 years, and Mike got into coaching pretty much immediately after graduating from college. Sounded like a guy who knew what he wanted to do. And Coach Budenholzer, two-sport athlete at Pomona, golf and basketball, also graduated with a triple major in Steve politics, philosophy, and economics. It sounds just like you at Arizona. <laughs> Similar, only different. <laughs> but, you know, shortly after college, Budenholzer actually took over as the video coordinator for the Spurs, and that's where his career took off. He ended up spending 19 seasons alongside Greg Popovich winning four titles and now here he is coaching the Atlanta Hawks two minutes, two minutes remaining in the door. screen by young kicks to Buttinger Kevin Martin on the wing six to shoot Levine passes to young just his first attempt and that one hits back iron boy we don't see that too often no defender on him and he just clanks the open jumper Schroeder dishes to Horford. Oh, how about that basketball that fan? Beautiful. Wow. Stupendous rush to the rim and a mighty slam on the end of it. But through the teeth of some pretty soft D, it, I can't help but say that. Well, let's see how that impacts things here because those kinds of plays sometimes can be game changers on both sides. Martin goes in. Here's Pekovic. Shot is no good. Good work defensively by Horford. Looking at the last game for the Minnesota Timberwolves, it was a loss to the Detroit Pistons. It was not a very inspired performance for them, particularly defensively. I thought, uh, you know, they gave the, the hostile crowd a lot to cheer about, frankly. Yeah, they allowed a lot of free runs to the hoop, a lot of open jumpers, and in the end, the opponent's shooting percentage was right through the roof, and you can't win when that's the case. Here's Levine. Averaging six points per contest. Well, that's inexcusable to throw a pass that far off the mark. Williams, he's checked in for Levine. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Teague, he's checked in for Dennis Schroeder. It's blocked, and they'll keep possession. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. You've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job, they are inside. It takes pressure off the perimeter guys. Still trailing, but their offense is off life support here in the second quarter. It's got a pulse. Yeah, they're making some shots now. Clark finally starting to make up some ground. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Teague, the pass to Hendricks. They get it back. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. For Atlanta, they have made two of their previous three free throws in today's game. Well, impressive free throw shooting as a team this season, uh, right around that, that 78% mark. Timberwolves trail by three. Outside Williams. Pekovic with the screen for Williams. Martin from outside. Here's Pekovic. Good work defensively by Milson. And the first half ends in a close one. Well, Ricky, what does it say about this team to have such... All right, listen up, everybody. The second half doesn't have to be as close as the first. If we... Welcome back, everybody. The start of this... Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Jang, he's checked in for Nikola Pekovic. Bennett comes in for Young. Jeff Adrian's checked in for Chase Buttinger. And Ricky Rubio is subbed in for Williams. And Atlanta will go for a different look here. Eldon Brands checked in for Horford. Mike Scott comes in for Paul Milson. Tabo Cephalosha is checked in for Kyle Corbin. And it's Schroeder in for Jeff T. Rubio and Martin Manning the back. Bennett is up there with Gorgie Gang. And it's Adrian. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Captain Clutch, he's checked in for Damari Carroll. Anthony Bennett really struggled in his rookie season, but I still think he has a chance to be a really good player. You don't want to give up on this young man yet. He's strong, he's got length, and he can shoot the ball out to the three-point line. I really think he's got the potential to be a versatile stretch power forward. 
And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Thank you, Kevin. Andrew Wiggins was the second consecutive Toronto native taken first overall in the NBA draft. He called it a great thing, saying, before this, no player from Canada has been number one. And now we have two back-to-back -back number ones. So it's a huge accomplishment. It just opens so many more doors for all the kids in Canada. Guys, back to you. It's something else, all right. Thank you, Doris. Here's Schroeder. Kevin Martin grabs the board. Martin's got four rebounds now tonight. And Steve, with the NBA going more and more to three-point shooting, it's easy to see why Bennett caught attention at UNLV. Well, he shot 37% from three in college, and he could also punish teams inside. So you can see the makings of a good player, especially kind of a pick-and-pop threat. But he's got to stay healthy, and he's got to establish himself and gain confidence as a young player in the NBA. Timberwolves trail by nine. And Rubio kicks to Mark. Down low, Cephalosha with the steal. Here's Schroeder, covered by Rubio. Here's Schroeder. Rebound, Minnesota. Usually, if he gets to the rim, he's converting it into points. But the defense stood tall there. And the basket by Rubio. The second he got around the pick and shook his man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy dude. Very, very well done. Here's Schroeder, covered by Martin. Here's Schroeder, right now averaging five points a game to stop the drought. Rebound by Dang. Boy, he has been struggling mightily in this quarter, guys. True. He really seems to have tightened up a bit for whatever reason. He, he looks tight. Bennett setting the pick for Rubio. To the inside, here's Adrian. The offense is getting right to the rim, but at least they saved the layup with the foul. That's old school basketball rules. I mean, at the end of the day, no easy layup. Earn it from the line. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. Well, his free throw numbers this year are below 70%. So when he's getting to the line, he has not been effective. And I don't think there's any question about it, guys. He's got to bring that percentage up. I mean, those are the kind of free throw numbers that will get you in a coach's doghouse and get your teammates a little mad at you. Out of bounds, Hawks ball as Atlanta keeps possession. Here's Schroeder, shot is blocked. In a moment now, as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. Well, this is what you talk. And Ricky, what? Was 